Hi, I'm Matt and this is 3.5 seconds. You probably recognize this. This is an uh, Oki pass through uh, charger with four USBs. And on my previous uh, showcase, he had a few features. You had the, US, uh, the ESP8266 and the rubber band. I got rid of the rubber band because it's back sealed again. I took the pictures because uh, I needed to reopen this again to take a picture for this particular tutorial, not for the video, but for the written tutorial in the description. And uh, also you'll be able to see this socket, the female headers. Uh, this is where the mm, ESP goes. So basically, you're probably interested how to how to add ESP to uh, um, Oki charger and create a smart socket. Well, use a glue gun. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding, don't use a glue gun. Uh, however, um, because we're playing with mains, uh, it should come with some warnings. Uh, it's quite dangerous when you play with these. So uh, be careful. First of all, uh, if you tamper in the, uh, with any device, obviously you're creating additional hazard for various reasons. So consider that as instructions uh, tutorial on how to do things but also this is for the mainly learning purposes if you want the proper socket there proper certified socket your device is not going to be certified second of all this is a charger which holds some uh, uh, charge inside as well even if it's disconnected so plug some usb device uh, to each port try to disconnect that charge stored in the uh, caps so you wouldn't get shocked leave it for a few hours that's the best thing to do and always always be careful uh, monitor if you if you even successfully create everything and follow all the steps uh, in a tutorial monitor this for a few hours just to make sure uh, check the temperature and there is no shorts and etc be careful that's that's basically all the warnings and i think we can start with actual tutorial so uh, i'm not going to extend it any further because the socket is glued in together i need to pry it open so i'm working uh, around the edge uh, to get that lid open and you'll see the board with the charging circuit and the socket itself that's attached by two screws which I'm going to just to quickly remove to get the full access to electronics. Now I'm going to sacrifice uh, like a travel pass through to get a copper plate which I'm going to use to Im imitate the socket. As you can see that's the, that's the part I need and I need it uh, to be shorter because I need to create a gap between the original uh, prong from the socket and uh, the socket that comes in, goes into it. So that's much of a gap I want to have inside. Fortunately, uh, there's like a place I can just slide that in. So this is a quick walk through of the circuit. I've got five to 3.3 volt converter, which powers obviously my ESP8266 using the adapter I've made. You can check it out uh, in a corner if you want to build one yourself. I have a st solid step, really. Uh, which works just fine with a 3 volt, 2.3 volt signal and I'm going to use it to uh, connect the AC line, the lifeline and I'm going to um, send the signal via RX pin once the um, ESP is uh, programmed. As you can see it works great. Has some work to be done now. Uh, we need to attach cables to everything so I've used that custom socket uh, made from copper uh, to attach a cable and I soldered the cable to both a thicker cable to the AC wire and the thinner cables to where uh, the actual um, signal is going to go through. Uh, make sure you secure everything. Use, I, I didn't have any shrink tubing so I used electrical tape or use shrink tubing preferably to secure the access so you make sure you're not going to get shocked or anything. Now I can position that on one side, the solid state relay and the rest of it on the other side. So I need to attach few cables to, according to my schematics which you can look up uh, in the article attached in the description um, to have power and then I'm gonna solder the um, correct cables uh, to the uh, female header for the ESP. That female header is gonna be basically glued in into the, inside the uh, socket itself. Now everything's uh, kind of finalizing here uh, so I'm just adding a little bit more solder to solder the cables for the um, solid state and I'm looking for voltage uh, 5 volt um, voltage from USB to figure out where I can hook it in my power cables and that to be uh, number one and number four pins on the board attached to the USB just make sure you're using correct ones uh, now it's time to use some blowtorch and a hot knife to uh, cut inside the plastic yeah once once the knife uh, obviously uh, it's released now the last stage is basically just slotting everything in and creating a safe space between the new socket and the prong which I used just electrical tape and I secured the board itself with uh, electrical tape as well to make sure there is no any shortages 
Lastly, just fit inside everything inside and glue it with the glue and leave it for a few hours to dry. So, I've been running this socket for about three weeks straight and I had no problems with it. Nothing exploded, which means I did a good job. Excellent. Now, some of you might question my design choices because uh, I left the ESP exposed. But frankly speaking, A, uh, it produces nice pictures and gets you all interested in it, thinking like, hey, what the hell, there is a ESP sticking out of this power socket. Uh, it must be connected to something. So yeah, that's one of the reasons. Second the reason is you can just remove it, uh, replace it or, or reprogram it at any given time. And speaking about programming, this is something we're going to cover in the next video. And I'm going to show you how to integrate it with Tasker, how to integrate it with Speaker, with Alexa or with uh, um, Google Home. Uh, and how to create the schedules itself on the Raspberry Pi and Node to get this automated. So. Um, subscribe if you're interested, um, obviously follow me on social media if you want to get any updates about uh, various projects and if you want access to these videos early because YouTube messes up monetization for me, you can sign up through Patreon and get uh, these videos and access to these videos early. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye. So I've been wa I've been wanting, really? I've been running my... S <coughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> and I don't even smoke. How the f*** am I supposed to record like this?